What's going on everybody? My name is Zach Hartley and in this video I'm going to walk you through how to build your own dividend tracking spreadsheet and I'm going to give you my spreadsheet as a foundation to start from. Here is everything you need to know. Let's go. Okay, so this is what the spreadsheet looks like and I have structured things a little bit differently than all of the other spreadsheets that I have seen because what I have seen a lot of is somebody will go out and they will find a stock and then they will choose to add it to their portfolio or not add it to their portfolio. And it's only when they add it to their portfolio that it actually gets put into the Excel sheet and they start to track it and monitor it. But my concern was what if there's a stock that today isn't a great deal, but six months from now, is a great deal. I still want to have that data in here and I want to be able to track that stock and monitor it because there was a reason that it popped up in the first place and who knows, six months, 12 months, a year from now, maybe it's a good opportunity. I want to be able to see that information easily without having to type it in individually into a different platform. I just want to be able to see it here and consistently be able to compare it. So what I've done here is I've set up one giant sheet where I've listed all of the different companies that I've searched up for dividends recently and I've programmed it to automatically populate the full name of the company, the price, the dividend yield, the payout ratio, price to earnings, price to sales, earnings per share, trailing dividends per share, the current ratio, the X dividend date, the market cap, earnings growth, and revenue growth. And basically, the idea here is that no matter what, any company that I ever look up for dividends, I'm gonna put it into this spreadsheet so that even if it's not a good deal today, it's gonna be in my spreadsheet so that I can keep an eye on it and I can monitor it and possibly add it to my portfolio in the future. Now, in order to build this spreadsheet, all I've done is added a new extension to Google Sheets here. I go to extensions, you click on add-ons, and I have added the YH Finance add-on to my Google Sheets here because I have tried everything. I've tried importing from Google Finance, I've tried importing the data from Finviz, and nothing worked. I spent days and days trying to figure this out and I could not get a spreadsheet to work with both US and Canadian securities, but I finally figured it out. It was through this app kind of extension here and you can pull all this information very easily. You can also add on new columns here. I'll show you exactly how to do that. So you just take the first kind of two top rows here and extend it over and then insert whatever you want to look up. So for us, let's just say it is current price here. Let's say that's what we are looking for. As of right now, this is formatted as a percent. So obviously we want to delete that. Well, we want the formula here, but we don't want it to be as a percentage. We want it to be as a dollar sign because we are searching for the price. And then we need to change this formula here. Instead of revenue growth, we are going to be looking for current price. I'm going to click on enter here and then it's going to give me the current price of Apple shares because that's what we're highlighted for. And you can drag this down all the way to the bottom here. It will take probably five or 10 seconds, maybe even a little bit longer to load depending on how many things need to load. So that is something to consider here. It's not going to be like instantaneous, but it'll do the job. And so this is how you can add new features and new columns to the spreadsheet. And if you want to find out what columns you can add, there's a website, I will link it in the description down below. It's called webdatahub.com slash yhfinance. And these are all of the different key kind of attributes or columns that you could add to your chart. Almost every different factor that you can think of. So it's really, really nice. And there's lots of different options. And you can build off of what I'm going to give you with this spreadsheet, which is fantastic. And so the idea here is every company that you ever look up, add it into the portfolio here. So let's just say that you want to look up Johnson and Johnson. I think it's already in the spreadsheet. Yeah, it's up there, but you add it to the portfolio here. And now all of a sudden, all of that data is populated. And what's nice about this is when you come here and you highlight this chart, no, I don't want to move it. I just want to highlight it. So let's just, okay. Nope. When you highlight the entire chart here and you scroll all the way to the bottom and then you click on format or sorry, you click on data here and you click on create a filter. What it will do is it will allow you to filter by all of these different kind of aspects or attributes or, or ratios, whatever you want to call them. And for me, what I really like to focus on is a dividend yield above 3%. So I'm going to filter by this because this condition here and I want to say greater than 3%. And now all of a sudden, it is only going to show me the dividend companies or the companies that have a dividend yield above 3%. I also want to see companies with a payout ratio below 60%. So that is another factor for me that I am looking for when it comes to dividend paying companies. 
And when I click on OK here, now we can see a short list of all of the companies I've ever looked at. Here's the short list of all of the companies that have a dividend yield above 3% and a payout ratio below 60%. And I can do the exact same thing all the way across the board so that I can filter by the companies that actually fit the criteria I'm looking for. That was the entire idea with this. And that is the primary, probably main thing that makes this spreadsheet different than all of the other sources and resources and things that I've seen out there online is this allows you to just continuously compare any company that you've ever looked up. Now, once you have found a company that you really, really like here, the idea is that you go to your portfolio income here and you add it to your portfolio. So let's say that it was J&J. &J. That was the ticker or the company that you wanted to add. You're going to go here. You're going to carry this formula down here. And now it is going to populate all of the information that you have added it to your portfolio. You need to include the ticker and then you also need to include the number of shares. So let's say that we bought 75 shares here. It's going to populate the company name the current annual dividend per share, the current annual yield, as well as the annual income that you are going to receive from the number of shares that you have purchased. It will tell you when the next X dividend date is, tell you when the last dividend was paid, what the last dividend value was, and the current price of the share, as well as the market value of your position. So it will populate all that information. All you need to do is fill in the ticker and the number of shares that you own. Then you're also going to get a basically summary of your portfolio at the top, your total annual dividend income, your portfolio yield, and your market value of what is the current portfolio worth. Now, I plan to add to this spreadsheet over time and add a couple of charts and visuals and graphs and make it a lot more visually appealing, but this was just kind of the initial framework that took me a lot longer than I want to admit, and I want to give it away for free, especially to Canadians that have been struggling with this and challenged with this. Hopefully this is a good resource for you and I will also leave all of the companies in here uh, so that you can see exactly um, how all the companies that I have looked up recently are doing. I will get rid of this filter here for you. To get rid of it, you just go data and then remove filter. So really, really nice there. And it's super easy to use. And then you're back up and ready to go. And anytime you want to add a new company in here, I have a couple of cube smarts in here just so it's already calculated. And then you just add in a new stock, whatever whatever you want it to be. Let's say it was Tesla. Obviously Tesla doesn't pay a dividend. And so a lot of these numbers are actually gonna be blank here. As you can see, these two numbers are blank, but it will at least give you the ability to insert it in there and see whether or not it fits your criteria. That's the whole goal. And then you can track your annual income and your whole portfolio yield using this portfolio income side right here. And it's only gonna get better over time, so definitely check it out. I'll put the link to this as well as the Web Data Hub website down below so you can do this all for yourself and hopefully you can build on top of mine. And if you do build on top of it and you make a really good one, please send it to me. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Good luck trading, good luck investing, and we'll talk to you soon.